Hey, I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to look at several outfits that I think are a little bit out of style and show you how to make them a little bit more modern and on trend. And the majority of these outfits are going to be fall outfits so I can help you prepare for the fall season as it's going to be coming out. And if you haven't shopped the Nordstrom sale, you can find some in there right now. And I wanted to present these outfits to you just to help you think outside of the box a little bit, not to get offended if you love the out of style version because some some of the out of style versions are still okay, but there are better ways that you can look a little bit more on trend. So thank you for watching. And if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. So this outfit combination is something that I first thought of when I wanted to do this video because I see it all the time where I live. I don't know if this is the case for you. And it's taken a cardigan, whether it's a shorter cardigan, most of the time it's one that comes down to the thighs and you actually just put it over a camisole or a t-shirt shirt and you're wearing your skinny jeans and a pair of ballet flats and this is actually a very easy combination to put together and it does look good on some body types that can wear it very well but I do think there is an updated version that you can do especially now that the Y2K trends have come out it's changed a lot of the styles that we wear and the first thing I'll say about that is blazers are really the best overpinning right now. The best jacket to put on is a blazer, whether you're wearing a suit or whether you're wearing jeans, but it just really helps bring an outfit together and make it look a little bit more stylish. And you can take a very boring outfit and put a blazer over it and it just becomes that much better. But we're talking about cardigans here. I think the blazers kind of replace the cardigan, but if you still love cardigans, the best way to wear a cardigan right now is a Y2K style, and that is the shorter cardigans, and you're wearing them buttoned all the way up as a top, and then maybe front tucking them, or if it's short enough, just wearing it as a top. This is the new way to do it, and if you want to put it on with your skinny jeans, fine, but change out that ballet flat with that round toe and put on a pointed toe. This is going to create a more updated look for you. And then if you want to go even further, skinny jeans have been completely out for the past few years, although I know a lot of people still love them. It's okay to still wear them, I think. But the new updated version is to put on either a slim straight leg that looks like a skinny, but it just has a little bit more of a leg opening and they fit really nice. So they're not super loose. So you could absolutely do something like that, or you could even go more for the regular straight leg that's very popular and it's an ankle length. So if you did the shorter cardigan with the straight leg and then put on a flat that had more of a pointed toe, the ones I have on here are not ballet flats. I've switched to a very modern mule because I really love these mules, whether you wanted to do a loafer like this or if you just wanted to do a pointed toe flat that was similar to a ballet flat but has the pointed toe that would be a perfect combination here to have a more on trend look so for those of you that like longer cardigans and just say i'm not going to do the shorter cardigan you can absolutely do what is called a codigan and i got one of these last fall and i absolutely love it and it is an updated version of a cardigan but it kind of acts more like a coat it's a little bit heavier but man these are just absolutely gorgeous when you put them over anything and if you get the right color that goes with your wardrobe then you are set and these are great for someone like me that lives in more moderate weather because this is the perfect coat for me. I usually don't have to wear very, very heavy winter coats, so I can style an outfit with this and actually keep it on. It just looks a little bit more sophisticated. It's definitely not a Y2K thing, I don't think, and I absolutely love this because I think this is also something that would be great for a capsule wardrobe or more of your classic pieces that you will hang on to for a long time because I don't think this is going anywhere. So I know this next outfit that I'm going to say is out of style is something that most of you are probably going to love. I know I actually really like this combination and it's a longer tunic sweater just left out over a pair of skinny jeans and then you throw on an ankle boot. So this is something that is so comfy and cozy and you know, perfect for some situations. But if you want to create more of an updated look with this, then definitely go for more of a cropped style sweater. And it can be something like I have on that's a little bit more oversized. And when I say cropped, it's not really cropped like we think of. It's not showing your midsection. It actually comes, I mean, this one comes right to my hips and it is just 
perfect. So if you can find something like this, which I think you will be able to, there's going to be tons of them for the fall and winter season. This is the new trend. Then definitely snatch one up. And instead of wearing the skinny jeans, go for a jean that is still a skinny jean through the leg, but then it kicks out in a boot cut at the end of it. And it's a little bit more of an ankle length. I love this style. I think it's great for the fall and winter. All the ankle boots are gonna go perfectly underneath that little kick out. And this is a new trend that a lot of people have been hesitant to try. And I think it is just so flattering. So just give it a try if you've not tried it, especially if you love the skinny jeans because they fit like a skinny jean through the body and the thigh. But when they get to the calf and down to the ankle, they just kick out a bit. And for the ankle boots, instead of that normal ankle boot that you've had in your closet for so many years, try to find one that has a little bit of a Western influence because that is the biggest trend that is going on in boots right now. Whether you want to do a full cowboy boot, you can, a short roper, those would still work under some of those kick flare jeans, but just an ankle boot that has a little bit of influence to it. I actually have two that I love, one in black and then one in a, in a beige color. And I have some from a few years ago that are actually Western influence. But that style ankle boot is the it style for this season. And it's something that I don't think is going anywhere. It's been around for a few seasons now, but this one, it's going to be the biggest. So it's definitely a good way if you want to be a little more on trend and create more of an updated look. This next one is one of my personal favorites because I love leggings in the fall and winter and you probably do too, but we're so used to just taking our leggings and throwing them on with a long sweater or sweatshirt and some sneakers and just being really comfy and it's just an easy outfit to get around town in. But the new way to wear your leggings because leggings are on trend still is to actually put them with a blazer and even some cute shoes as opposed to your sneakers. But if you wanted to do the blazer with sneakers, I think that is a great way to go. And there are so many options that you can do with a blazer in your leggings. And I'm gonna show you a few different looks because I love more of a sporty blazer, one that has a hood to it, which these are a lot of fun and they're very popular right now. And I love this look. And this is what I would wear with my sneakers and you know, just a t-shirt underneath it. And I would even button up the blazer so I was covering everything. But you can also dress your leggings up a little bit and instead of doing the sneakers, put on a pair of ankle boots, throw on a cute sweater or top that's really thin, maybe a cashmere sweater, and then put a blazer over it. And this is definitely the way to go with your leggings for the 2023 fall and winter season. So there are a lot of fun style dresses that are trending right now, but there is one that has been on trend and I think it is just out of style and it's the baby doll dress. And I know a lot of women love wearing these dresses because they are so comfortable, but to be honest with you, they really are not very flattering. They might be cute, but if we're going for cute, fine. But if we want flattering, if we want to just accentuate our shape a little bit better, then there are some good options. And the first one I wanna talk about is the fit flare dress because this is becoming very popular. The fuller skirts are now very much on trend. So you will be able to find different styles that have either a slimmer skirt or a fuller skirt. But the great thing about these dresses is they have an A-line skirt. So they fit a lot of different body shapes and I'm absolutely loving these. I need to find one because you're not seeing me in any of these dresses because I don't actually own one, but I am hoping to find a really good fit flare for the fall and winter. But the other style I wanna talk about that's very much on trend that I've seen a lot of, and I wanna talk about this second because I don't think it's gonna be as popular with everyone, but the tube style dress. So tube dresses, those were really big back in the early 2000s and they are coming back again. And you can actually find them now in something a little bit more casual, but there are also some beautiful options that are dressed up. So if you want something in the fall that you need to go to an event for, a strapless tube dress is great. And maybe even a strapless fit flare. So a tube top dress with a A-line bottom. So either way, you could find something that is a lot better than the baby doll dress. So this next one, I would be very interested in how you feel about this. Because the reason why I am talking about this is because 
I have just experienced some thoughts when I was thinking about this outfit. So it's skinny jeans and knee-high boots. So I ordered some knee-high boots in that I absolutely love, and I just had to ask myself, what in the world am I going to wear these with? Because most of my jeans are either kick flares or straight legs, and I have not put on my skinny jeans in a while. And so I was thinking to myself, wearing the knee-high boots with a dress and a skirt or something like that, or even shorts in the fall with tights, is actually a little bit more updated than throwing on your skinny jeans. Now, I'm not saying don't wear the skinny jeans with the boots. Sometimes we just have to. We want to throw on our cozy sweater, some good jeans, and put on that knee-high boot because it's cold outside. But if you want to look a little more on trend, you're going somewhere where you want to dress up a little bit or, you know, you want to wear a dress or a skirt, Throw on those knee-high boots, even if it's a denim skirt or even shorts. And this is a very updated look that you can do that you might not think about doing. I know I didn't because I asked myself that question, what am I going to do with these? And I think I'm going to find a lot of great skirts and dresses that I can put my knee-high boots and tights with. So did you know that hoodies are on trend? So maybe not your hoodie sweatshirts, but having a hood on a jacket or a blazer or even on your sweaters or your cardigans that you wear, Hoods are a very big thing for this fall and winter, and I thought it was very interesting, and I just love the normal everyday hoodie sweatshirt. And I have a few in my closet, probably more than a few, and I think the way that people wear these is usually with joggers, which joggers are not as on trend as they were, so you may want to swap out those joggers for some leggings, and then throw a blazer or a bomber jacket or a moto jacket or something that's a little bit oversized over your hoodie. That way it looks more sporty and an athleisure look and it's a lot of fun. You could pair this with jeans, but if you wanted to just throw it on over those leggings, even put on a sneaker or even an ankle boot, depending on the look that you want. The key here is to layer your hoodie so the outerwear looks like it has the hood on it. I think that's the easiest way to execute this trend. It's a fun look. And you know, if you have a cashmere sweater that has a hood on it, that could dress up your look a little bit. And I think that's a great option if you wanted to do that. Throw on some jeans and an ankle boot. And you've got a little bit of a sporty look look here. So I love this look. It's one of my favorites. I know I am going to be wearing this this next fall and winter, so I would love to know what you think. I hope you made it this far. If you did, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not yet. So I hope you guys have a great day. Love your neighbor, be kind, and I will talk to you next time.